Hello again, Tim Spector here of the Zoe Symptom Study app giving our weekly update and it's good news again. Rates have dropped 27% from last week and we're down to just over 1,100 cases of symptomatic COVID per day. Just so you understand where that is, we've been, uh, with your help, logging in exactly the same way for about nine months now. And so we know that those rates weren't as low as that uh, for a long, long time. We're, we're getting close to the very lowest level we achieved in August last year, where it was about just under a thousand cases. So hopefully we'll, we'll be hitting that target uh, very soon. Um, and the other good news is that the hospitals are uh, have only about 2% at most of COVID cases. Admissions are down. And yesterday there were only four deaths from COVID. These are unfortunate, but you've got to put that in context that on most days we have four to five average deaths just from road accidents and over a thousand deaths from other other common causes. So this is really a low risk of death at the moment. Now the data we have are also showing differences between the regions. We're seeing a six-fold difference between the highest region which currently is the northeast of England with the lowest region which is the southwest of England which is constantly recording uh, much lower levels and has done interesting throughout the pandemic. There was a lot of worry last week about uh, new variants in South London and people were being tested and are still being tested. Uh, and we've looked in detail at Lambeth and Southwark thanks to people reporting there and we're not seeing any big surges there or anything worrying. So touch wood, that's good news. If you are being asked to test, do help out and record it on the app so we know exactly what's going on in real time and we'll let you know. But this does suggest the South African variant isn't affecting uh, rates at the moment. Talk of the Indian variant that's been running uh, amok in India. We know there are cases in the country. Again, uh, no evidence that that's having an effect here, but we're, we're keeping a, a close eye out for you on that. So overall, our rates are... Uh, still amongst the lowest in Europe and on a par with Israel that's ahead of us in the vaccination game. And you can see from this graph that um, we're still doing very well compared to our neighbours who hopefully will have improvements in their scores as they, they catch up on their vaccination rates. Now, I get asked a lot about what is my real risk uh, once I've been vaccinated of having COVID. And this isn't discussed very widely, but I think it's important for people to get a rough idea with all the caveats of any of these estimates and the fact, depending on where you live in the country. But we are recorded on the app uh, that if you haven't been vaccinated, and this is mainly people aged under 50, about one in 46,000 people fold is your risk of uh, getting COVID in the next 24 hours, one in 46,000. And if you've, your 12 days after your first dose, your first vaccination, that drops to about one in 74,000 chance. And if you're lucky enough to have two vaccines and you're 12 days after your second one, that drops to one in 114,000. That is very low compared to most other risks in life. And personally, I think that people in care homes who have been vaccinated twice really should be given more freedom to meet who they want uh, in these scenarios uh, because that also affects me uh, and seeing my mother. Now, overall though, this is uh, good news and uh, we should be cautiously optimistic. And this data is only possible because you've been logging your vaccines with us. Over a million of you have done this and now we're getting data on Moderna and hopefully some of these other new vaccines as they, they come in, looking at the subtle differences between them. And we have a paper coming out next Monday in the Lancet Infectious Diseases that we will be able to share with you some of those details once it's out. But in general, there's lots of subtle differences in who's getting these side effects and who's getting more protection. 
all I can say at the moment is that uh, young females seem to be bearing the brunt of the, the side effects. But I must stress, these are generally the very mild ones, just headaches, shivering, uh, fatigue for uh, 24 hours in most cases. We'll be able to tell you more about this next week in these updates uh, as we proceed. So I'll stop there. Thanks again for logging. Thanks for giving us all this fantastic information and stay safe.